more than 14 months into the Russia-Ukraine war and the end to violence is nowhere in sight. Rather, the war is intensifying by the day. In the latest, a top Ukrainian general says Russia has intensified shelling of eastern Ukrainian town of Bakhmut, hoping to take it within the next 24 hours. The city, which is already in ruins after a year-long battle, has caught the attention of the world in recent months. Speculations of the town slipping into Russian hands have intensified lately as well. But Ukraine's top general in charge of the defense of the besieged city of Bakhmut has vowed to do everything to prevent that from happening. Meanwhile, Russia launched its biggest swarm of drones for months against Ukraine on Monday. The attack comes on the eve of Russia's victory day on May 9th. It is a holiday in Russia celebrating the defeat of Nazi Germany, which Kiev marked a day earlier in a new break with Moscow. President Vladimir Zelensky said he had signed a decree to officially change the date in future. Kiev's mayor said Russia had fired 60 Iranian-made kamikaze drones at Ukrainian targets, including 36 at the capital. Ukraine says all of these drones have been shot down. However, debris hit apartments and other buildings, injuring at least five people on the ground. In addition to this, Ukrainian military says 16 rockets hit Kharkiv, Kherson, Mykolaiv and Odessa regions in the last 24 hours. In another interesting development now, Reports say that Russia's newest weapon is changing the course of the war. And what weapon is this? This is a weapon known as glide bombs, which are being used by Russia. The derivative glide bomb has an atypical design. It can fly on low altitude, dodging radars. Experts say it can force Ukraine to change its counter-offensive strategy altogether. Away from the battlefield, Kiev says Russia has effectively stopped the Black Sea grain deal as well. The UN broker deal is set to expire on May 18th. Ukraine's reconstruction ministry says Russia is now refusing to register incoming vessels as well. We are one, you and I. Burning in the sun. Rising in the rain. One in celebration. One in pain. One in a tragedy. One for our rights. One in search of hope. One in our fights. One beyond borders. One beyond our race. This could be one of the One in the face of adversity. We are one, you and I. And it's all right to know how and why. We on. You are more connected than you know.